Hey everyone, welcome to Morality, your channel for React Native content. Today we're going to be talking about the Use Layout Effect Hook. So let's go ahead and talk about what it is first, and then I'll show you a quick and simple example on how to implement the Use Layout Effect Hook. So starting off with what it is, this hook is identical uh, to the Use Effect Hook. The only exception is that it fires synchronously after all DOM, document, object, model, mutations, whereas use effect fires asynchronously. So this can be used um, to relay out from the DOM and synchronously re-render. Updates scheduled inside the use layout effect hook will be flushed synchronously before the browser has a chance to paint. So in most cases, you're gonna prefer the standard use effect hook when possible to avoid blocking visual updates. So notice how the use layout effect fires before the browser paints and the user sees any visual change. So this can be used to avoid any flicker that you may have um, when switching different tabs in navigation or loading an animation or uh, things of that nature, which once we get into some builds, um, we did previously run into an issue where we had bottom tab navigation and when we would click to another screen we would have a slight flicker and that was due to using the use effect um, hook instead of the use layout effect hook which uh, I'll show you that in a future video so let's go ahead and jump into an example we'll go to our source folder Right-click new file. We we'll call it use layout effect hook.js. Go ahead and type RFNE React Native Functional Export Component. Save that. Go back to app.js. There it is. Self-closing. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we can see use layout effect hook. Let's go back to use layout effect hook.js. This is where we'll be doing all of our coding for this example. So, first thing we're going to need to do is set up a state variable called value, set value. If you're not sure about use state, uh, we do have a video on that. You could go back and check it out. Uh, control space allows us to import use state from React. So first thing I want to show you is <clears throat> the difference in use effect and use layout effect. So we could see if we say use effect, we'll import that. And set it up. So if we say console.log here and we'll say use effect. Now you can see down here it says use effect. So if we have two of these for example, now you can see we have use effect and use effect two. And even if we had a third, I'm sure this is pretty obvious, but you can see it's going to be use effect, use effect two, use effect three. So these will be ran in order. However, say for example here we say use layout effect. Now if we say console.log here and we say use layout effect. Now look what happened. Let's go ahead and rerun this. Now what you can see is we have use layout effect, use effect, and then use effect too. So what actually ended up happening is this use layout effect 
actually gets ran first, even though these come first. So, likewise, if we were to do this similar like we did above, we have use layout effect, then use layout effect two, then use effect, then use effect two. So what's happening is this is running, then this is running, then jumping back up to here, this is running, then this is running. So keep that in mind if you're, say, um, fetching data from a database or using animations or things of that nature and you have that in your use layout effect, the entire screen will not render until this is completed inside here. Okay, so now let's do a little comparison of some sort of semi-complex math. So we'll say here, we'll leave, we'll leave this to undefined initial value. That's okay. And then we'll say if value is equal to zero, then we're going to set value and we'll say math dot random times 100. And then let's set up the UI for that. So we're going to have, this time let's go ahead and use a style sheet. So we'll say const styles equals style sheet dot create. Let's import this real quick. Make sure it's up there. Yep, it is from React Native. Okay. So like that. Okay. So previously in the other videos we were just doing inline styling um, but I think it's worth knowing how to do uh, styling using a style sheet so we'll call the first one container uh, we give a background color of we'll say white and then We'll do align items to center. We'll say justify content to center. And we'll give a margin top of say 30. Move my cursor, okay. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll put style equals styles dot container. There we go. Now we're going to do a style for the text as well. So let's go ahead and add that now. We'll give it a font size of say 24 and a margin bottom of say 10. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and use that style here. Styles.text. There we go. Now we can see the font is a little bit bigger. We have a little more spacing here. So now what I want to do is change this text component to say value. And then let's give it the value of value, which is nothing at first. That's fine. And then let's go ahead and add a button. It's going to be self-closing. Title, just call it random. And then give it an on press property. Say set value to zero. And we need to import the button component. There we go. So what we're doing here is 
we have value set to an initial value of undefined since we didn't pass any initial value here to the use state. And then what we're doing is when we press this button random, we're assigning value to zero using the set value function. And then in the use effect, we're gonna check if value is set to zero, then we're actually gonna set it to just some random value. And what we wanna do is in our dependency array here, we wanna set this to value. So that way when value changes, i.e. when we press this button, then this will render. So let's try it. Okay, there we go. So we could keep pressing this really fast. No flickering, no problems. Um, in React 18, which is the latest version of React, they actually fixed some of the problems that use layout effect was fixing um, for the for use effect. Uh, so now use layout effect is uh, not as needed as it was before. Um, actually, in fact, probably 95 to 99 percent of the time, you will use use effect and not use uh, layout effect. Very rarely will you ever use layout effect, only for probably specific cases. So let's check the same thing that we did with use effect. Let's check that with use layout effect. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Set the dependency to value like we did above. And then comment this one out. And if you're wondering how I commented that whole section of code like that, I just select it and then press command slash. And you could un uncomment like that as well. Okay, so let's reload. Okay, as you can see, we have the same result using the use layout effect hook that we did when we used the use effect hook. So let's press this a bunch of times fast. No noticeable difference, everything looks the same. So that concludes the use layout effect hook example. Um, future wise like I said and once we start getting some builds going we could do some examples uh, with with uh, rendering animations and you may see some performance change there when using the use layout effect hook instead of using the use effect hook so um, if you guys like this content want more of it please like and subscribe um, we have a couple more hooks to finish up I believe there's four hooks left uh, once we're done with those, we'll start doing some database stuff, some navigation stuff, authentication stuff, uh, and also some basic React Native uh, stuff, understanding what it is and how to use it in a little bit more depth. So that way, once we get to the builds, you have a better understanding of everything that's actually going on when we're writing the code and doing what we're doing. Um, if there's other things that you guys would like to see, please put that down below in the comments. Um, if you have anything that you're interested in or want to collaborate or do anything, uh, please leave that down below as well. Um, again, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.